Hello guys, welcome back to Student Future Channel. In today's video, I am going to guide you about Thailand Advanced Institute of Science and Technology fully funded scholarship. There is no need of IELTS and also there is no application fee. And the deadline to apply for this scholarship is 28 February 2025. Now let's discuss what are the requirements and documents for this application so here is the official website of this i will add the link into the description you can directly open the link from the description here when you will open this website you can see application and screening procedure so for application documents should be in any of these format what you need a photograph taken within the past six months then you need your official bachelor's transcript and a statement of purpose in statement of purpose you have to write summary of senior projects statement for study motivation or statement of research interest so add these points in your statement of purpose and write a professional statement of purpose because you will also have marks for the statement of purpose then you need letter of recommendation from the applicant's advisor one should be from the applicant's advisor and one letter of recommendation should be from the applicant's lecturer or head of department or company supervisor so the format for the recommendation letter is this one you have to click here and it will be downloaded here if i open the recommendation letter here you can see the template you have to download this one and your recommendee will fill this uh, document form for example here your name recommendation date then recommender's name his position department email id and then he will fill this form on behalf of you so you can download this document and just check this one here there should be signature of your recommender or your professor advisor or supervisor okay now next document is applicants must submit one of the following english proficiency score as below so here you can see you should have any of the tests from these but if you don't have here you can see english proficiency must be taken within two years before the application date then english scores are not required in the case of graduation from a country where english is the official language and a university is teaching and learning in English. So if you have done your bachelor in English language, you can get an English proficiency certificate from your university. Then you can attach that document as proficiency certificate as a proof. This is the list of required documents. Now let's talk about the application, how you have to apply. So to fill your application, you have to click at this link or open this link. Before starting application process, let's discuss these points as well. After filling your application form, you will submit your application. Then the third step is your selection. When your documents will be evaluated, you will be called for interview. So if you will pass your interview, then you will be notified about the admission process. So here you can check the further details related to this. Now, this is for master's degree scholarship for international program. From here, you can check the programs and scroll down. Here, you can see eligibility of applicants. So, you should have a bachelor degree either in the field of engineering or science. For example, in any of these fields, electronic, chemistry, physics, mathematics, material, geology, any of these mentioned fields, then you can apply in these fields. Okay. Next is applicant must have a cgpa of at least 2.75 so you can apply with 2.75 or plus gpa then applicants must submit one of the following english proficiency scores same as i discussed earlier you should cover these three points then target number and coverage of scholarship there are total 70 scholarships for international students for master's degree and the deadline to apply is 28 february 2025 now let's talk about the application process for this purpose you have to open this website when you will open this type of page will be open first of all you have to click on register click on register scroll down and here you can see details related to this you can study this one scroll down okay so after reading this you have to click on agree so from here you have to translate so type is applicants next you have to select your nationality 
write your id card or passport number if you have passport then write your passport number otherwise you can write id card number then you have to select a password then write an email now click on create now click on login here you may need to translate it to english again now this type of page will be open here you have to click on test now you have to start your application procedure first of all attach your picture click on choose file and attach and click on next now next is profile you have to add your profile select your nationality then you have to check your passport number then write your first name write your last name then write your first name in english then again write your last name then write your mobile phone number write your gmail id then select your date of birth then you have to choose any of these program for which you are going to study so you have to match your field with any of these fields these are the major fields for example if you have done chemistry physics you can apply for sustainable energy and resources engineering like this department okay so let's suppose i am going to select this one then you have to select any of these universities for example there are three universities you have to select any of the one for example i am selecting this one then click on save now it will be marked as yes next is background now you have to add your education background so to add click on this button click on add and you have to attach your bachelor degree if you have been graduated then you have to select graduate but if you are in the last semester of your bachelor then you can select studying now select your degree bachelor's degree select your country select your institute so here you have selected other no you have to write the university name then select your faculty from here you can see it is physical therapy management innovation so my field is chemistry let's find it from here write it here and let's select so here i can find chemistry select this one then you have to find department again you can find it from here so here this one just type it from here then you can find it easily so scroll down next you have to select month of enrolled when you enrolled select the month then what is the year of your enrollment here you have to select your graduation when you have completed your degree then select your year of graduation now you have to write your overall grade or point so what is your gpa or cgpa now click on create confirm and click on okay now if you want to add more than one degrees again you have to click on add otherwise click on save and next next step is related to education from here you have to select your education so your university name is mentioned here again select your university name and click on save now you have to select your language tab the first one is compulsory you have to select from english listening just marks your grade then if you want to add more than one languages you can add otherwise move on if you have any of these tests then you have to select if you don't have click on save and move to next now you have to select your scholarship history if you have already achieved any scholarship you have to select yes otherwise select no then click on save now you have to write data related to reward here you have to write research topic in bachelor's degree if you have done your research in bachelor's degree then you can write title here in english tab but if you have not done any research then you have to just mark this one copy it from here and you can add it here but if you have research in your bachelor then write the title now scroll down if you have any publication then you have to select from here for example any award national conference or international conference you can select any option from here then click on save and next next step is related to working experience if you have done any work experience or professional work job etc you can select any of these options for example you have to select year starting year date and end year date then write organization name and then write your position title so add this data if you have none then you again can mark this option now click on save and next next is other tab here you have to select from where you knew about this here you can select website 
then if you select any of this option for example website then you have to add the link of website if you select friend or senior then you have to write the name and if you select university then you can type university name here then click on save and next last step is related to attachment now you have to attach your documents very carefully first of all you have to attach statement of purpose document that should be with 250 to 300 words for each purpose okay just follow this criteria and select choose file and add your file then you have to attach your official bachelor transcript with the grade point so you have to attach your front and back both sides where grade point is also mentioned so attach your front and back side in one pdf format then please send two letters of recommendation from the applicants advisors letter one and letter two so make a pdf file and then you have to attach then if you have any english score certificate you can attach otherwise you have to attach english proficiency certificate from your university so attach this one as well next if you have any award you have to attach otherwise leave it then if you have additional documents you can attach otherwise leave it then click on upload and your documents will be uploaded here you can see all of your documents are uploaded now now you have to mark this option i agree and then you have to click on submit application when you will click here your application will be forwarded to the university and then you will receive further notification after evaluation of your documents so this is the process to apply for this scholarship the process is very simple and you can apply easily so wish you very very best of luck if you have any kind of query related to this university or scholarship you can comment me i will be there to reply you so see you next video